Hello, this is Tina Rappi. Thanks for joining me in my stamping studio. So today I want to show you, I've been busy making a bunch of these little two by two boxes that I'm going to be using uh, for later this week at my customer appreciation party. But I thought I would take a break from um, putting these all together and show you how I did them. So let me set those aside. So I started out with um, the Joyous Noel Designer Series paper and I cut it six by six. This is the paper that has the gold shimmer in it. Um, so anyway, it's six by six and then I scored it at two inches on each of the four sides, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this on each of the score lines. Okay, set that aside for a minute. And then I've got some of the Joyous Noel Glimmer paper. And this comes in Copper Glimmer, um, the Mary Merlot Glimmer, and the Tranquil Tide Glimmer. And this is cut three inches by three inches. And then I scored it on each edge at just shy of a half an inch on each side. Just a sliver short. Okay, so we've got that. Then what I'm going to do, and I think I'll show you on the designer paper because it's gonna be easier to see. So if you imagine that this is cut into, or scored into nine squares, we're going to ignore all center squares and just work on the four outer panels. And so here what we're gonna do is we're going to cut right up the score line and then I'm gonna cut a little sliver here. And then the same thing here on this outer edge. Okay, so when I lay it down, whoops, hang on, let me get this a little bit better here. Okay, so when I lay this down, you can see here there's a sliver cut out here and a little bit from here. I wanna do that same thing to each of these other corners. Okay, so you can see here on each of these, I did not cut out of the center panels at all, just the outer edges. I'm going to do the exact same thing here to the glimmer paper side. Okay, so there's the lid. For putting the lid together, because this is the glimmer paper, I like to use the mini glue dots here. So, it helps it to stick better than, um, than the snail. So I'm just putting a glue dot on each, each side of these um, longer panels. And then I'm gonna fold up this tab and put it right in there. And I'm making sure that this edge lines up with the fold. Here's the lid. We're going to do the same kind of thing here with the box itself, but on this what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my fast views. Um, you could use tear and tape also. When, uh, when they had the fast views on special, I bought a bunch of it. So what I'm going to do is fold this flap over and put some adhesive on that. And then I'm going to fold this flap in. So right now I'm not putting anything together. I'm just getting the um, adhesive on. Okay, so adhesive here and oops, stick it down, come on. And adhesive here. Now we're gonna put it together. So same thing, it's gonna to go to the inside and I wanna make sure that this edge lines up with this fold. Okay, good. Then you'd put your little uh, gift in there. And then let's get this lid on. Okay, so there's our box. And then I'm going to use some of the reversible Mary Merlot copper ribbon. This stuff is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna tie it around here and tie it again in another knot. Just like that. Okay, now let me show you 
the original box. Do you notice the little notched edge here? A lot of times I will see people trying to do that and they will cut this way and cut a notch and then they'll cut this way and cut a notch. And um, it's not always the easiest to get a good looking uh, cut in there. So if you just take and fold your ribbon, so here's the fold edge and here are the raw edges of it. You're going to fold it in half and cut from the raw edge side to the folded side at an angle. Poof, just like that. Same thing over here. From the, whoops, let's get this twisted a little bit. From the, oh, for Pete's sake, I'm trying to do this, here we go. From the raw edge to the folded edge. So just like that. Okay, and then I wanna show you for the tags that I used here, I used different ones. I actually used the Tags and Tidings stamp set. This is one stamp, so let me show you here. One big stamp that stamps all of those images. So I just stamped it up, uh, or inked it up, stamped it on a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and then there are the Christmas Tags framelits, and this fits perfectly over it. It will cut out every one of your tags at once, and it also puts a little hole in the tag for tying it on. So you stamp it once, you run it through the Big Shot once, and you end up with all kinds of really pretty tags. Isn't that cool? What a time saver. So then, let me just get those out of the way and we'll finish this up. So I'm gonna use this one that says no peeking. And then you, uh, you would use our Whisper White Baker's Twine. But for me, what I did is I had purchased the Sincerely Santa Project Kit. Um, this is the one, let me just show you quickly here in the catalog. This is the one that makes all of these really cool tags. Well, I made a few of the tags, but then I took the elements from the kit and I made cards. And then I did not end up using the, all of the baker's twine or all of the little jingle bells. So I thought, hey, why not use it for this? So the baker's twine that comes in that Sincerely Santa Project kit comes on a little spool like this. And so... I'm just gonna thread that through and let's cut off the length of it. Okay, and then, where did I put my jingle bells? Right here. I'm gonna use a couple of the jingle bells. Now, if you've already used all your jingle bells from your uh, Sincerely Santa Tag Kit, um, you could just purchase little jingle bells at the craft store. All right, and then there's little holes on there, so we'll see if uh, doing video if I have the ability to thread this or not. Yeah, if not, um, you put a little little spit <laughs> on the edge of the thread, a little, little DNA to go with your gift. Yeah, let's see if I can get that threaded through. Okay, and then I'm going to thread this under that ribbon and I want to get that jingle bell through there too. Okay. And then I'm going to tie this in a knot, tie it in another knot, and then in a bow. Isn't that adorable? So as you can see here, I've used um, the three different colors of glimmer paper. I'm using up all the ties. Got a little noise here, a little gift inside. Um, so it's a super quick, easy way to do it, especially when you're mass producing. I just cut up a whole bunch of chunks of the six by six um, 
paper for the boxes, three by threes for the lids, and I'm going to town on these. So I hope you enjoyed your visit today, and I'd love to have you come back another time. Be sure to pop over to my blog and see some of my other creations, and that's stampinstudio.com. Thanks, and happy stampin'.